everyone so uh, today is 11th august friday and it is currently 107 and i'm going to start studying right now so uh, you as you must have seen in the title and thumbnail today's video is a 6 hour study challenge and this is my to do list for today i'll do triangles for 2 hours then agriculture then numericals and i have a lot of notes to write from hindi and sst and i think all of this is going to take six hours and by the way i also have my tuition today which is of science so yeah and i did not go to school today because my school is closed today because uh, the teachers in our school had a workshop which they had to attend so that is why the school is closed today so um i'll start off with this thing and um, let's see how much we can complete so yeah by the way uh, let's put on a timer of an hour this will end in 209 so yeah Let's start. So even if you don't make notes for every single chapter of SST, I'll still suggest you to make at least short notes of this particular chapter because in this we'll have to memorize uh, all the names of the crops, the states in which they are grown, the particular climate they need, rainfall, cropping pattern, etc. So for that, if you make a table or if you just write the name of the crop and, you know, and, and just start off by writing the climate rainfall etc you'll you know it will be a little easier for you to memorize all of that and this was actually the table thing was actually suggested by the grad sir and it was very 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 helpful so you can do it like for the first chapter in which we had to memorize all the names of the soils in that particular chapter also i made a table and trust me it helps a lot and i was done with my first study session but i still decided to continue sst in my second study session because i just wanted to end this up to a certain point so i can complete the whole chapter in two days because i just don't want to stretch it for three to four days like it just becomes really boring if i do so and I find geography boring in itself. So that's why I just wanted to finish it up to a particular extent so that I'll be able to, you know, complete it by tomorrow. And here I was like, I opened my physics book. Like I was uh, thinking that maybe I should do the chapter electricity. But then I realized that I don't think that I can practice it right now. I think it desperately needs some revision. So it was not my revision day and as a result i started doing assist uh, sorry chemistry and i had just revised the acids bases and salts yesterday so i thought maybe i should just start off by practicing some case based questions because it is very very important Okay, so it is uh, 3.26 and I'm currently done with um, agriculture and this physics numerical. Okay, so uh, when I started doing the physics numericals, I knew that I had to revise the whole chapter. Otherwise, I won't be able to do anything. And if I talk about chemistry, I had just revised acids, bases and salts yesterday. So that's why I thought maybe I should just practice acids, bases and salts. And to compensate, um, I practiced way more questions than just 10 questions. I practiced more than 10 questions and it took a lot of time. And I mostly practiced the case-based questions because the case-based questions are very, very important. Like we should practice it, otherwise we won't be able to have an idea about all of the reactions. So that is why and right now I'm going downstairs. So after coming back, I, okay, wait. So I will take a 35 uh, minutes break right now. 
okay and i'm done with 2 hours of studying so i still have 4 more hours left and after coming back i'll do triangles and after that we'll start writing the notes okay so yeah So I was doing the chapter triangles after setting a timer for two hours and while I was doing it the lights had just gone but the sunlight was still there so I kept going and it was not that hot so yeah and this particular exercise was actually a little easy like it was not that hard or it was not of a moderate level also like it was easy and in my first pre-board which is on the 25th or which is in the 26th september i am having triangle circles trigonometry and statistics plus the chapters which i had in my first unit test all of them in my first pre-board so yeah i was thinking maybe i should leave the month of september just for revision and i will not start anything new in the month of september so i am trying to complete all of it by the month of august itself so yeah, let's see if I'm going to be successful or not. And by the way, what's your favorite chapter in maths as of now? Minus trigonometry, it because it was very, very hard, it questioned my thinking ability to a next level but at the same time once you get it it's just the best thing so what is your favorite chapter in math It is currently 8.42 and I was doing mathematics. Um, I was almost done, only around 3 minutes were left and my tuition teacher had come and I had to go downstairs. Oh god, only 3 minutes. So yeah, sorry for ending that part abruptly. And uh, after that I had some milk and right now I am back. So uh, only three minutes were left, so I guess I am done with the triangles part. And right now I'll just do my Hindi and SST notes because that, that is like very, very important. So uh, first let me just bring the book and copy and after that we'll resume the video. So um, I will start off with Hindi. Page number 18. Yeah, this one. So, um, yeah, I'll just start off with it right now. I'll write all the exercise questions and yeah. And yeah, we will also put a timer of 15 so here i was doing the chapter manushyata and i was just skipping the questions and i was just writing down the answers because questions can be written at any time right and i also had to get my copy checked on monday and being very very honest for english hindi and 
एसिस्टी समटाइम्स आई डू टेक हेल्प ऑफ द गूगल एंड फॉर इंग्लिश एंड हिंदी आई समटाइम्स राइट द होल्ड एग्जैक्ट थिंग फ्रॉम गूगल बिकॉज बींग वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई जस्ट डोंट लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर राइटिंग थिंग इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश आई डोंट नो वाई बिकॉज इन द एग्जाम हॉल आई नेवर राइट द थिंग्स विच आई हैव रिटन इन माई कॉपी आई ऑलवेज मेक द आंसर बाई माई सेल्फ लाइक फॉर एवरी सिंगल सब्जेक्ट आई नेवर जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट एन आंसर आई ऑलवेज हैव टू मेक इट बाई माई सेल्फ एंड फॉर दैट यूल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द चैप्टर एंड फॉर जस्ट फॉर हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश नॉट फॉर एस एस टी बिकॉज इन एस एस टी यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस आंसर राइटिंग बट इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश वंस यू गेट द चैप्टर लाइक इट इज़ नॉट दैट हार्ड फॉर मी टू मेक एन आंसर एंड राइट इट इन द एग्जाम पेपर सो या आई जस्ट कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट फ्रॉम गूगल and then i started writing sst also and when i was done with sst i still had a, some time left so that's why i started writing hindi again but i was done with exercise question so i started started writing down the meaning of all all the stanzas okay so um It is currently 10:44, and I'm done with my work. So yeah, this is it. I have written some of the questions also, and with that, I am done successfully done with the six-hour study challenge. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. And I was thinking maybe I should do a recorded study with me in the next video, like around. One to one and a half hour long because I don't think that my phone is going to support a video more than one hour long. Like it is not possible, right? Because it is going to be a real time study with me and not a time lapse one. So maybe it is going to be of one and a half hour. So uh, please let me know in the comments below if you will be interested in a real time study with me because I have been getting requests for live study sessions. So live. I don't know like I have heard that some channels get hacked because of a live session I'm not sure about that but I don't want to put my channel at risk so that's why but a real time study with me session is also going to be quite well so please let me know in the comments below if you need that if you are interested in that so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I'm just going to go downstairs and have my dinner so thank you so much for watching today's video I'll see you next time bye bye